द लॉर्ड्स एक्सट्रीम पॉइंट इन लंडन द लॉर्ड्स एक्सट्रीम वांट इन लंडन इट इज ए आई डोंट नो हाउ कैन आई एक्सप्लेन ऑलमोस्ट ए ट्रैजिक फेज ऑफ लाइफ व्हिच वाज फेस्ड अराउंड सी ऑफ इंदो एंड इज ब्रदर्स इनक्रेडिबल पीरियड यू कैन इमेजिन हाउ दैट पीरियड वाज रियली पासिंग ऑन लॉर्ड्स ऑफ होप fathers for me father and his sons they were having for that only they were sent to into the heartland of uh, european society london already i have got told you couple of times his father dr ghos expected or our master Robin the story Robin the letter to be an accomplished english man the then doctor doctor ghos had a very fantasy fantasy gained a fantasy that his son will be accomplished english man under the guidance of this clergyman and his wife they will try to be built up in the european style living within the riches of europe and of course following the lifestyle of europe but the thing did not go to his favor in as per expectation so he had to die a pathetic death he had to meet a pathetic death i am not concerned about i am not going to hear i want to focus upon the life of sri aurobindo and his brothers exclusively his you know study period how they spent their time among extreme poverty extreme ones they had nothing left because father was unable to send their money for this children to be born to be brought up there royally under the european banner things went opposite things really went opposite i want to know about you know sri aurobindo about i just want to quote about sri aurobindo's food how he was enjoying the food during that day because you know source of uh, money supply was stopped and they were not within india they are already in england for study they can't be detached they can't come out so for that they had a, there was a weak tremendous struggle what has been described here what has been described here you know fearful poverty fearful poverty and want in within that phase of life within that structural period you know dangerous period struggling period how sri aurobind was spending his time just i want to show you because this is the topic today we are going this to discuss on want and poverty period fearful poverty already i have scores case to you i have told you two years specially passed in a great hardship great hardship because he was pushed to england sri aurobind so far sri aurobind is concerned when see he was at the seven with other two brothers two years specially passed in a great hardship there was not enough to eat for there was hardly any money hardly any money he they had got nothing because this source of money supply was stopped dr ghosh their father could not be able to send money so hardly any money hardly no had not enough food to eat do you want to know how you are lord you are lord even you have seen the ashram life now gorgeously people are enjoying life like anything during that period just imagine how they spend every day what about their food have you kept imagine just imagine 
how the lord was struggling and struggling smilingly never complained never had any anguish never had any agony for that never he felt worried this was the sure window this was the decision of lord whom really you pray for and uh, you know in the morning a cup of tea and a slice or two of bread that was also a difficult period that he would get was also difficult to arrange a cup of tea or a slice or two of bread this was in the morning breakfast in the afternoon only a cup of tea i have dangerous period in the morning a cup of tea or a, and a slice or two of bread afternoon only a cup of tea and evening dinner dinner means best meal of the day what he did a penny sausage or a sandwich sandwich no hearty dinner for a long two two long years but dinner means the best meal of the day no hearty dinner for two long years and yet no discontent no complaint this is your lord this is your lord can you imagine every time at under all circumstances we keep simply criticizing commenting comparing and complaining compromising this is what happening but at that time she was during the extreme poverty fearful poverty your lord had never complained no complained no discontent only one pointedly with great concentration he went on studying 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 how can i explain i am tearful in my eyes i don't know how you will be feeling how you will be feeling i don't know i am in tearful eyes just imagine still then we don't have any minimum must be appreciation we don't know how real is going life is going on simply we think this and that we never we always complain compare my comp- compare compromise criticize not expect we charge give remarks we analyze in our specific and limited brain not expected and sri aurobindo has explained explained during about that poverty in his own language let us hear about sri aurobindo's own words in his letter to the secretary of state for india his own letter in his own language i was sent over to england at about 7 years of age i was sent to england sent over to england when i was 7 with my two elder brothers and for last 8 years we have been thrown on our own resources without any english friend to help or advise us nothing was there nobody was there to help us because english people they though then english people they felt these people our countrymen they are something they are like they are slaves in our money they were just enjoying extracting exploiting us but they did not have any heart they could not treat us properly so sir bindu guys without any friend without any english friend to help or advise us our father dr ghosh apkhulna that area Our father, Dr. Ghosh of Kulna, has been unable to provide three of us with sufficient money. Could not be able to provide us sufficient of money. He had dreams but unable to fulfill. Finally, the sufferer we are, these three sons who had to struggle day and night in the distant land. And nobody was left there to solace, to advise, to take care or help. for the most necessary ones and we have long been in an embraced position this is your windows letter to the secretary of state for india we have been left here none is there to help and accompany us advise us father is unable to send money and we are lacking everything we are struggling most know what is the most necessary ones to fulfill be fulfilled and long been embraced in a eminent embraced position 
what was the resources then how they were managing actually that time i want to say sri aurobindo was a candidate for ics and later to get some stipend for that and also one hours one day scholarship at st pauls for st pauls he got some scholarship and from this to be used to try support for two brothers because they were three i don't know i can't um, control myself i am in tearful eyes i don't know how to explain some stipend will be there in the vast land something like like england this englishmen treated indians as their slaves nobody was there to help and accompany or to advise that time actually some stipend it was the only source of in, uh, in expenditure for these three brothers at a distant land like london but he had nothing left for himself what love what generosity what heroism just imagine how can it be in one occasion i told you poet of patriotism lover of humanity just imagine prophet of nationalism and here also you can similar way you can see couple of words what love what generosity what heroism a senior fellow and a tutor at cambridge gd gw prothero gw prothero he wrote about sri aurobindo's hardship and hard life the extreme poverty in his own terms one lines just i want to quote it rather in a very your full eyes i don't want to i can't express our lord we we are proud of him we express our gratitude let's just imagine how it will be and just see 9 by 6 that room size how the lord will be using this as a bathroom bedroom and for everything study room everything 9 by 6 size can you imagine can you imagine eternal suffers in a human form he has signed a salvation with his own blood can you imagine we can do nothing simply we can at least shed tears that also we are unable to do. we can at least express our gratitude till the now we don't have that uh, generosity that greatness this is what the human tendency human nature Mr. Protero, Protero is having a nice judgment on Sri Aurobindo that though then life, the man has not only ability and character about Sri Aurobindo. The man has not only his ability about character, not ability but character. He has had a very hard and anxious time of it in the last two years. Hard and anxious time. Supplies from home have almost entirely failed. Resources. could not money could not come and he had to keep his two brothers as well as himself all three at his courage and perseverance have never failed this is your lord don't bring down my friend his courage and perseverance has never failed his whole way of life was a simple and penurious in the extreme how the englishman the then englishman mr prothero observes how much very interesting is that frank description description you jo this is what nobody can do, do but your lord is that much bold to express his own circumstances in his own simple letter in a very frank way from englishman's from an englishman's understanding he could be able to understand how this man among with another two he was taking care how he was struggling struggling and he was facing life banchanam chapamanam cha mati manam cha na prakna prakash prakash hai if you have been cheated if you have been offended if you have lost everything or you have suffered or you have been sucked never tell try to tell anything but lord has expressed everything fully 
his life is an open paper and this english gentleman has observed everything cleanly minutely this is the truth it has been brought out to make us glory and this to make this nation proud and glorious bande matra